Hello what's up, Ali here and welcome back to our corner. On this video, we'll share how to jailbreak our PS4 using the PPPWN exploit on the firmware's 11.0 and below. Since we are still getting a lot of questions regarding errors that they are receiving when activating the jailbreak, but in most cases, you only need to use the latest versions of the tools which we are going to show now. Let us start with downloading the latest versions. On this video, we'll use the latest release from PPPWN Go and the light versions. Let us start with the Go version, so just open the link and click on this part to download. You can find all of the links in our description. And now for the light version, just click on this part to download. Now when downloading these files, you will definitely get this message. But you don't have to worry, these files are completely safe. Our system will only recognize this as a virus because of how it was programmed. Now all you have to do is just click on this part, download dangerous file, and download dangerous file. Sometimes you will get the message depending on the browser that you are using to keep the file anyway. Now let us go ahead and do that to the other file. Next is we need the NP cap. You can find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part to download the latest version. After downloading, just go ahead and install the NP cap. Now let us go ahead and extract our PPPWN Lite and our Go versions. So just right click on them and extract to a separate folder. Now let us go ahead and prepare our PS4. On the PS4, go to the network settings. From here, I would highly recommend to connect the PS4 on the router first to make sure that our Ethernet port is properly working. Set up Ethernet connection, go to use a LAN cable, and choose Easy. Go to view connection status, and make sure that the PS4 is showing an IP address. If you see an IP address, that simply means that your Ethernet port is properly working. Now you may go ahead and connect your PS4 directly to your PC. Go back to the setup internet connection, use the LAN cable, choose custom, choose PPPoE, and use a random user and password. Now go next, automatic, automatic, do not use, and from here you may go back and choose an application for your jailbreak. Let us start with the PPPWN Go. So just open the folder, and inside the folder, go to the PS4 Gold Hen All. Here you can find all of the Gold Hen and VTX Hen from firmware 7.0 to 11.0. Keep in mind that Gold Hen only supports 9.0, 9.60, 10.0, 10.01, and 11.0. The rest you may go ahead and simply use VTX Hen. To know more about their differences, you may go ahead and check this image. Here are the supported features for the VTX Hen. You will have to choose the firmware that will correspond to the version of your PS4. In my case, I have a version 9.0, so I will use this golden version and the latest version as well. For me to use this, I will need a USB or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. Since I have already one prepared, all I have to do is just drag and drop this gold hand.bin on the root of my USB or external hard drive. Just make sure that the file name will remain gold hand.bin. Now let's say for example you are on the firmware 10.50. Since 10.50 does not support gold hand, you may go ahead and simply use VTX hand. So open this folder and drag and drop the payload.bin on the root of your USB and external hard drive. Also make sure that if you are using a VTX hen, the file name should be payload.bin, not goldhen.bin. You will have to choose the exact firmware of your PS4, otherwise you won't be able to load VTX or goldhen. Now after we prepare our golden or our VTX hen, you may go ahead and insert your USB or external hard drive on any USB port of your PS4. And to run the application, just go ahead and double click on this application. 
Then click on this part. On this area, click on the drop down menu and carefully choose the firmware of your PS4. Since I'm on 9.0, I will go ahead and choose this. Now on the third option, click on the drop down menu. First, I will strongly recommend to use the default version of the PPPWN C++. This offers a better stability. But if ever you have tried this and you can't get a successful attempt, that is a time that you choose the beta for the problem model. This is the version for the PS4 that was once had some issues with the PPPWN exploit. So if ever you are not getting any successful results on this table default, you may go ahead and choose the beta for the problem model. But in my case, I will go ahead and choose this table version. Now just simply go back and we may now go ahead and activate our PS4 using this version of PPPWN Go. From here, you may just go ahead and click on Go and let the application jailbreak the PS4. If the application fails, it will just simply go ahead and retry. Again, if you are not getting any successful attempt here, you may go ahead and change to the beta for the problem models. You may also change your LAN cable to better the success rate of your jailbreak. If you need more help, you may go ahead and check our video to fix errors when activating the PPPWN exploit. You can find the link on our description. But in our case here, we were able to activate our jailbreak on the very first try using the PPPWN Go. If you see this notification, but the payload was not loaded, you may go ahead and check our video on how to fix unable to load payloads. Now let us go ahead and restart and try the light version. Now you don't have to use different application. All you need is one application that will work well with your PS4. The different applications is just for you to choose which one is more compatible with your PS4. So in case you are not having some good results with the PPPWN Go, you may go ahead and try the light version. How to use this is pretty much the same with using the Go version. And to use this, click on the PPPWN light and here on the drop down menu, choose the version of your PS4. And here on this drop down menu, you have the same option to either choose this table or the version for the PS4 that are having some problems with the PPPWN. Again, I would strongly recommend to start with this table version. Now let us go ahead and try this on our PS4. If you're stuck on the waiting, just go ahead and click on this part and restart the application. Same like the PPPWN Go, if this application fails, it will automatically restart. All you have to do is just simply wait until you see the message PPPWEND. And once you see the payload or the gold hand loaded, you have successfully jailbroken your PS4. The first time the PS4 loads the gold head or the VTX hand, the payload will be saved on the PS4 and you won't need the USB to activate the gold hand or the VTX hand the next time you jailbreak your PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you may go ahead and share them on our comment sections and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.